I'm Charlotte and welcome back to another video on my booktube. So today is my April TBR. I have so many books on this top shelf that I want to read. So I am going to be choosing five books from this shelf as in April I would like to read books on my Kindle too. I don't have any TBR jar or a fancy board game because I'm just not that sort of person to be honest. I know I won't read it because I haven't solely picked it because I want to read it. It's because I've been prompted to read it. So there is so many I want to read. Just here alone we have Done and Dusted, Fangirl Down. I also have A Thousand Boy Kisses and My Roommate is a Vampire. So they're just four that I want to read. I also have these four, which is You'd Be Home Now. Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. Powerless by Lauren Roberts and Say You Swear. So out of them eight books, I want to choose five. I, I know a lot of them are quite long. Like these seem really, really thick. Whereas these seem to be a quick read. But I have been wanting to read these two the most. I have heard so much on Powerless and Say You Swear over on BookTok. If you have BookTok, please follow me. I'll leave my name and everything down below in the description box so you can see my TikToks or Instagram. I will leave all my social media handles down below. So first two on my TBR are going to be Say You Swear and Powerless. Now, since Elsie Silver is coming out with a new book in April and I love the Chestnut Spring series, I want to read another cowboy romance. So Done and Dusted is definitely going on my TBR. Also, Wild Love by Elsie Silver, like I said, is coming out. I have pre-ordered that, so I will be reading that in April as well. And I know in April, Anna Huang, her next book in the King of Sin series is coming out. So King of Sloth. I will most likely read that in May. I am going away the beginning of May. So I might take that with me and maybe do a read along. Read with me while I travel. Why not? Sounds fun, don't you think? So yeah, Done and Dusted is book number three, or should I say technically book number four, because Wild Love's going to be in there too. Do I stick with this stack or do I choose something else, seeing as we have three here? And there is loads on here that I want to read. I still haven't started the Akatar series. I have book number one here. Hmm. I have Cinderella is Dead. I've wanted to read that for a long time. Mexican Gothic's on there too. The Midnight Library, that is definitely going in April's TBR. So this is one I've seen so, so much. And I got this one. I think I got this off of Vinted for a pound. So this is definitely going in the April TBR. It also seems like a quick read of only 288 pages. The writing's not super diddy, so it shouldn't take too long to read either. So that is four books on the TBR. So I'm at a predicament now and I'm struggling to choose. Do I go with one of them or do I choose something completely different? Because this whole shelf, there is so many good books that I want to read. There's even some books down here. But I haven't read them yet. So these are what I wanted to read as well. Which is The Roommate and The Intimacy Experience. 
experiment. So this is a duology. I am very, very tempted to add these and just count them as one book for now. But I think it's very like romance based TBR this month. How many pages has this one got? So this one. has 315 pages including the acknowledgements i don't know what page it actually finishes on i'm guessing this one is about the same too even has a reader's guide the roommate 315 so this one has 315 pages in so i'm definitely adding that i know i said i'm only adding five but we have four, five, six on our physical TBR so far. My goal for April is 10 books that can include audiobooks on Kindle or physical books. The most I've read in a month is 15 books. Don't ask me how I've done it because I honestly don't know. But yeah, 15 books is the most I've read in a month and 10 is my goal for April. So we have six. Do I choose a couple more physical books and then talk about the Kindle books I want to read? I think so. So that Fangirl Down can wait till May. My Roommate is a Vampire is a possible pickup for April. So that is a maybe, but this i've wanted to read this for a long time i've been looking on vintage for it ebay and it's been so much more expensive than the five pound that i paid in the works so on our physical tbr we have a thousand boy kisses the roommate the intimacy experiment the Midnight Library, Done and Dusted, Say You Swear, and Powerless. They are the physical TBR for April. So this is my Kindle. This is what it looks like. I am so happy with this. I, my mother-in-law brought me my Kindle for Christmas. And it has honestly been one of the best presents I have ever received. Does it keep me up all night because I'm too busy reading? Yes. Have I wrecked my own sleep schedule because of reading? Yes, I have. Do I regret it? No, I do not. Because this is what helps me day to day. I have so many books on my Kindle. I have... I don't even know how to tell you how many are on there. I have 94 unread books on my Kindle. A lot of these are the books that are like 99p and below. So most of them have actually been free on the Kindle store. And 17 of these are on Kindle Unlimited. But on Kindle, I would like to read Bloodstream by is it emily carter or amy lee carter i can't see the name on here emily carter bloodstream by emily carter i'll pop a picture here so you can see what it is so that is book number one on kindle and obviously i said my goal is 10 books so if i don't read all of these and i read more on kindle that's fine i probably won't read all of these and i probably won't read all of my kindle list but I'm going to try my best to read what I can this month. So book number two is Hate Mail by Donna Maraschetti. I think that's how you pronounce her name. So this is an enemies to lover romantic comedy and it is a new release. I got this on Kindle for 99p and I thought, you know what? Let's give it a try. Why not? I love a good bit of enemies to lovers. Who doesn't? So, I also fancy reading a Penelope Douglas book this month. 
I know she is not for everybody, but I'm pretty sure I have. On my Kindle, I have Birthday Girl and Punk 57. So either one of them, I will add, I will try to read this month, well, in April. It is the 30th of March today, if you can see that. So I'm filming, filming this, it's the 30th of March, so it's not April just yet. Almost, but not yet. So yeah, either one of them two I want to read just to give it a try. I loved Credence. I can't remember the other book I read now. But yeah, I absolutely love Credence by Penelope Douglas. I know it is a very taboo book. Not many people like it, but me, I really enjoyed that book. I devoured that book. Did I stay awake till three in the morning just to finish that book? Yes, I did. Do I regret reading it? No, I do not because that book was a oh, spicy book. Actually, I might read Hooked in the Never After series. So yeah, I might read the first book in the Never After series, which is Hooked. And that is only 312 pages. And according to this, it will take five hours and two minutes to read. But I'm not a very fast reader, so, and I know Hooked is a dark contemporary romance and it is an adult fractured fairy tale. It is not a fantasy or a retelling. So, that sounds like my cup of tea and I cannot wait to start reading these books in April. So that is my April TBR. If you'd like to see more videos, then please subscribe to my channel down below and also follow my other socials that will be linked in the description. Thank you if you got this far for watching and I'm sorry that I waffle on here, there and everywhere. It is just something you'll have to get used to because quite frankly, I'm trying not to go yap, 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 yap. And even now it is not working. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.